Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. Went from defenders to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. I'll definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in 2K community, and hope you can appreciate that 9 a.m. and that 5 p.m. Daily double uploads, and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, what we're going to talk about is the best bronze finishing badges for next gen and current gen. So you heard that correctly. These badges will apply for both gens. It doesn't matter, excuse me, what gen you're playing on. The badges and the attributes and the effectiveness is the same on both gens, okay? So... Don't worry about it. If you're watching it and you're PS5 or the new Xbox, don't worry about it. If you're a PS4 or the Xbox One, doesn't matter. This applies to both, okay? So with that being said, we know off rip that most finishers are always gonna have these badges here, either on gold or hall of fame. They're pretty much the standard of badges that you need to have. Of course, everybody's gonna have posterizer either on gold or hall of fame, depending on what their, their badge, I mean, the build is. They're also going to have slithery, either go to Hall of Fame, depending on what the build is. And of course, limitless takeoffs, go to Hall of Fame, depending on the build is. These are the ones that you want to get off rip. Now, when you start talking about most builds, you know you have the tier system. I'm going to have my build, I mean, the, the, the top finishing badges video will be in the description. So if you want to check that out, make sure you check that out. It'll give you a breakdown of the tiers. But with that being said, the first badge that we're going to talk about getting on bronze is going to be fearless finisher so i know a lot of y'all are probably gonna be like dang fearless finisher on bronze well again let's check it out strengthens the player's ability to absorb contact and still finish also reduces the amount of energy loss from contact layups okay so the thing about fearless finisher is this is that you actually do not get a significant jump um or it's not much of a jump to uh, to basically say hey you want to go ahead and get that so basically what i'm saying is is that even if you have the option of going gold or hall of fame on this badge don't do it doesn't it's not worth it posterizer slithery limitless are good enough there just get this on fearless finisher on bronze trust me it's gonna be far and few that you miss layups um going to the basket with fearless finisher on bronze you're a-okay all right and then now the next badge that you want to get on bronze will actually be acrobat now i know again people you got to get your mindset away from how it was in 21 and 20 acrobat as you're going to see here spin half spin hot step euro step cradle reverses and chain shot layup attempts receive a significant boost now let's be honest the most used part of this um description is going to be the reverses and even then with the having the reverse acrobat on um bronze guess what activates fearless finisher okay so these two actually stack and by these two actually stacking being bronze that's all you're gonna need and i know some of y'all not gonna believe me so trust me just go ahead and try it out yourself play a part game or two have it just like this do some contested reverse layups and i guarantee you're not gonna have any issues now if you now if you're a finisher now so your layups should be somewhere in the high 80s or 90s anyway so now you have these two badges you're not gonna have any issues trust me you're a-okay all -okay, right now these next two set of badges on bronze they work hand in hand and again i always try to get these equipped and that's going to be rise up and that's going to be fast twitch okay so let me talk about rise up real quick rise up increases the likelihood of dunking the ball when standing in the painted area now the reason why that i say like this build this badge if you have a taller build and you have standing dunk then go ahead and get this up to hall of fame or gold okay same thing for fast twitch if it says speeds up the ability to get standing layups or dunks off before the defense has time to contest the thing is, is this a lot of us right max out our, our close shot our driving layup and our driving dunk we don't have much of our standing dunk okay so if you don't have much of the standing dunk it doesn't make sense to go ahead and get these up to hall of fame and get these up to gold but if you are a taller build that actually put their attributes in standing dunk 
then it would make sense to get flat fast twitch on bronze and rise up on bronze so hopefully that makes sense these two are stackable badges also you also will see rise up and fast twitch pop up when you when you're um receiving lobs so it makes sense to get these two if you can and i guess and the best way i can explain it is this just to give you a quick example let's say for instance most of us will have let's say for instance you have 16 badges okay so if you have like blue in your pie chart you're probably gonna have somewhere between 12 to 16 correct so let's just say this is cutting this is good to difference say 15 right so let's say you have 15 badges so that's four right then you probably go gold here four five six seven eight nine ten and then you have 11 and 12 right so that means you have your 12 so if you only have 12 badges this is what i'll say you should do if you only have 12 this is where you should go okay if you have 15 then of course now you can play around with it a little bit 12 13 14 and then 15 maybe get slithery hall of fame right this is how your lineup this is how your badges should look right so i know a lot of you have questions like hey you know how should my badge lineup look this is how you sprinkle in those bronze badges with the golden hall of fame badges okay now um let's go ahead and talk about the next set of badges that you can get on bronze now these are going to be some that are good to have um or more, more luxury type but that's going to be unstrippable and put back balls okay now Unstrippable, again, when attacking the basket and performing a layup or dunk, the chances of being stripped are reduced, okay? Yes, I'm telling you right now, this is a badge that you don't want to have until you actually start realizing you get stripped. Now, there'll be maybe once or twice in a game, um, or maybe once or twice every two or three games, you'll get stripped. You're like, dang, if you would have had bronze unstrippable, maybe he wouldn't have stripped you going to the basket. So it is something good to have on bronze. It makes sense to have it on bronze. And then also, you look at putback balls, all right? Putback balls enables putback dunks and boosts the shot attributes of a player that attempts to put back layer per dunk right after getting an offensive rebound. So again, this is a luxury type one because this is an animation based um, badge. Basically, what that means is that by having this badge on bronze, you will able get a you'll be able to get a putback dunk. Like you'll catch the ball and put it back. Hold R two, run to the basket when the ball comes off the rim, type square, and if you're in good position, you actually will dunk it. I always like having this badge. Just because it's, listen, ain't nobody ever get a put back dunk in 2K and ain't nobody jump out their chair. Because it's so rare because a lot of people do not equip this badge on bronze. Okay? So once again, let's just say again, we have somewhere between, let's say we have 15 badges. Right? So we'll go here. we go four. We get this on gold. So that's seven. And then we'll go eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? Thirteen, fourteen. Right? You could do this. Right? And if you have fifteen, you can go silly fit finisher here or you can go rise up right but you can go here with 15 and be perfectly fine with that okay so once again these are the badges that i said are really really great to be on bronze some honorable mention would definitely be lob city finisher um but again it this not there's not much of a difference there and then of course if you're a center obviously i always leave centers out but you know grace under pressure is another good one too but as usual most of us are going to be guards and they're not playing centers so these are the bronze badges. I want to highlight them again for anybody that fast forward ahead. These are the bronze badges that you should definitely, excuse me. These are the badges that you should be definitely looking at getting on bronze. Again, I want to say once again, if you have your standing dunk maxed out and you do have a lot of finishing badges, obviously rise up in fast switcher ones. You definitely want to look at getting gold. But again, we're going off the premise that most of us are running guards and small forward or power forwards, and we usually just upgrade our close shot, our driving layup, and our driving dunk, okay? So that's the reason why you're good off going bronze. But there you have it, my nephews and nieces. These are the best bronze badges on NBA 2K22 current and next gen. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi, I'll be back really, really soon. When I say I'll be soon, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.